Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. Today we'll learn how to solve problems related to percentages based on price of goods. Being thorough with the concept and formula of percentages will make solving these problems easier. Please watch our video on percentages for all the details. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Here are a few formulae useful for solving problems based on price of a commodity. If a number is first increased or decreased by A percent, and then again increased or decreased by B percent, then net percent change is equal to A plus B plus AB upon 100 percent. In the formula, put a negative sign if there is a decrease. If the answer is positive, there is a net increase. If the answer is negative, then there is a net decrease. If the price of a commodity increases by R percent, then the reduction in consumption so as not to increase the expenditure will be R upon 100 plus R multiplied by 100 percent. If the price of a commodity decreases by R percent, then the increase in consumption so as not to decrease the expenditure will be R upon 100 minus R multiplied by 100 percent. If A is increased by K percent, then the new number is 100 plus K upon 100 multiplied by A. If A is decreased by K percent, then the new number is 100 minus K upon 100 multiplied by A. Increase percent is equal to increase upon original price multiplied by 100 percent. The number of seats in an auditorium is increased by 25 percent. The price of a ticket is also increased by 12%. What will be the increase in revenue collection? So we have to find out the increase in revenue collection. Revenue is nothing but number of seats multiplied by price of ticket. Now it is given that the seats of an auditorium is increased by 25% and price of ticket is also increased by 12%. So we have to, uh, to find the net percent change, we have to use the formula A plus B plus AB upon 100 percent. Here A is the percent increase in the number of seats which is 25 percent. B is the percent increase in the price of ticket which is 12 percent. So net percent change in the revenue is equal to 25 plus 12 plus 25 multiplied by 12 upon 100 percent. 25 plus 12 is 37 and 25 multiplied by 12 upon 100 is 3. So 37 plus 3 is 40 percent. So the net percent change in the revenue is 40 percent. Since the result here is uh, positive, the revenue will increase by 40%. If the price of a book is first decreased by 25% and then increased by 20%, then what is the net change in the price? So we have to find the net change in the price. Use the formula net percentage change is equal to A plus B plus AB upon 100%. Here it's given that the price of a book is first decreased by 25%. So A is equal to minus 25. 
negative sign is used because there's a decrease and then increased by 20% so b is 20% so net percent change in price is minus 25 plus 20 minus 25 multiplied by 20 divided by 100% on solving this we'll get minus 10% so net percentage change in price is minus 10% since in the result there is a negative sign it means that there is a decrease in the price so the decrease in the price is by 10 percent water tax is increased by 20 percent but its consumption is decreased by 20 percent find the increase or decrease in the expenditure of money so you have to find the net percentage change here so use the formula net percentage change is equal to a plus b plus a b upon 100 percent here it's given that the water tax is increased by 20 percent so a is 20 percent its consumption is decreased by 20 percent so b is minus 20 percent the negative sign is because there is a decrease so net percentage change in expenditure is equal to 20 minus 20 minus 20 multiplied by 20 divided by 100 percent which is nothing but minus 4 percent so the net percentage change in expenditure is minus 4 percent since there is a negative sign in the result it shows that there is a decrease so there's a decrease in the expenditure of money by four percent if the price of tea is increased by 20 percent then by how much percent should the consumption of tea be reduced so that there is no increase in the expenditure on it if a price of a commodity is increased then the consumption of the commodity has to be uh, reduced so that the expenditure remains constant here the price of tea is increased so the consumption of tea has to be reduced so that there is no increase in the expenditure here we are asked to find out the percent reduction in consumption so use the formula percent reduction in consumption is equal to r divided by 100 plus r multiplied by 100 percent here it's given that the price of t is increased by 20 percent so r is 20 percent now substituting the value of r in the formula we get percent reduction in consumption is equal to 20 divided by 100 plus 20 multiplied by 100 percent this is nothing but 20 divided by 120 multiplied by 100 percent when you solve this you get 50 by 3 percent which is nothing but 16 2 by 3 percent so the consumption of tea has to be reduced by 16 2 by 3 percent so that there is no increase in the expenditure on it the price of a commodity rises from 6 rupees per kg to 7 rupees 50 paisa per kg if the expenditure cannot increase find the percentage of reduction in consumption here the increase percent r is not given so first we have to find the increase percent then we have to find the percent reduction in consumption it's given that the old price is rupees 6 new price is rupees 750 so the increase is uh, 750 minus 6 which is uh, rupees 150 now increase percent is increase divided by original price multiplied by 100 percent here increase is 1 rupee 50 paisa and original price is 6 rupees so substituting these values in the formula we get uh, 1.50 divided by 6 multiplied by 100 percent which is 25 percent so r is 25 percent 
Now to find the percent reduction in consumption, use the formula percent reduction in consumption is equal to R divided by 100 plus R multiplied by 100%. So we have found out that R is 25%. So substituting the value of R in the formula, we get percent reduction in consumption is equal to 25 divided by 100 plus 25 multiplied by 100%. On solving, we get uh, percent reduction in consumption is 20%. So if the expenditure uh, cannot increase, then the percent reduction in consumption is 20%. If the duty on an article is reduced by 40% of its present rate, by how much percent must its consumption increase in order that the revenue remains unaltered? So here the duty is reduced. So the consumption has to increase so that the revenue remains the same. And we are asked to find the percent increase in uh, consumption. So use the formula percent increase in consumption is equal to R divided by 100 minus R multiplied by 100%. It's given that the duty is reduced by 40%. So R is 40%. Substituting the value of R in the formula, we get percent increase in consumption is equal to 40 divided by 100 minus 40 multiplied by 100%. On solving this, we get 200 by 3%, which is nothing but 66 2 by 3%. So uh, in order that the revenue remains unaltered, the consumption must increase by 66, 2 by 3%. The price of an item is decreased by 25%. What percent increase must be done in the new price to get the original price? So here we are asked to find the percent increase uh, in price. So use the formula percent increase in price is equal to R divided by 100 minus R multiplied by 100%. It's given that the price of the item is decreased by 25%. So R is 25%. Substituting the value of R in the formula, we get percent increase in price is equal to 25 divided by 100 minus 25 multiplied by 100%. On solving, we get 100 uh, divided by 3%, which is nothing but 33.33%. So the percent increase in price is 33.33%. The price of a cycle is reduced by 25%. The new price is reduced by a further 20%. The two reductions together are equal to a single reduction of how much? So we are asked to find the value of the single reduction here. One thing you must be clear is that the single reduction here is not 25% plus 20% which is 45%. Single reduction is not 45% because the second reduction is not on the original price but on the price got after the first reduction. You have to be clear about this concept. So let's find the value of the single reduction. But here the original price of the cycle is not given. So uh, let's assume that the original price of the cycle is 100. So after the first reduction of 25%, the price will be 75. It's given that this new price is then reduced by 20%. So to find the um, final price, Use the formula, if A is decreased by K percent, then the new number is 100 minus K divided by 100 multiplied by A. Here K, the value of K is uh, 20, value of A is 75. So the price after the second reduction will be 100 minus uh, 20 divided by 100 multiplied by 75, which is 80 divided by 100 multiplied by 75, which is nothing but 60. So the price after the second reduction is 60. 
when original price is 100 then the new price will be 60 so there is a reduction of 40 percent on the original so the single reduction will be 40 percent if price of rice increased by 25 percent a man is able to purchase 5 kgs less rice in 500 rupees find the original price of rice per kg so we are asked to find the original price of rice per kg so let the original price of rice be x rupees per kg so at the price of x rupees per kg for rupees 500 let the man buy r kgs of rice so r multiplied by x is rupees 500 this is the first equation now it's given that the price of rice increased by 25 percent so the increased price of rice is uh, 100 plus 25 divided by 100 multiplied by uh, x so the increased price of rice is uh, 125x by 100 rupees at this increased price the man is able to buy 5 kgs less rice in 500 rupees this means that the rice a man can buy for rupees 500 at the increased price of rupees 125x by 100 is r minus 5 kgs earlier he could purchase r kgs of rice for 500 rupees now at the increased price he is able to purchase only r minus 5 kgs of rice so r minus 5 multiplied by 125 x by 100 is equal to rupees 500 this is the second equation from equations 1 and 2 we get r x is equal to r minus 5 multiplied by 125 x by 100 on cross multiplication we get 100 rx is equal to 125 rx minus 625 x which is uh, nothing but 25 rx is equal to 625 x so r is equal to 25 so the man gets 25 kgs of rice for rupees 500 since r is 25 the man gets 25 kgs of rice for rupees 500 but we are asked to find the price of rice per kg so for the rate for 25 kgs of rice is 500 rupees so for 1 kg of rice the price will be 500 divided by 25 which is 20 rupees so the original price of rice per kg is 20 rupees when the price of wheat was increased by 32% a family reduced its consumption in such a way that the expenditure on wheat was only 10% more than before if 30 kgs per month were consumed before what is the new monthly consumption of the family so we have to find the new monthly consumption of the family we do not know the cost of wheat per kg so let cost of wheat per kg uh, initially be rupees 100 it's given that uh, 30 kgs were uh, consumed at the price of 100 rupees per kg so the monthly expenditure of the family uh, initially was 30 multiplied by 100 which is 3000 rupees after the increase in cost let p be the new monthly consumption of the family it's given that the price increases 32 percent so the new price is uh, rupees 132 original price was 100 price increase is 32 percent so the new price is 132 rupees so the new monthly expenditure of the family is p multiplied by uh, 132 this is the uh, first equation now it's given that 
the family reduced its consumption in such a way that the expenditure on wheat was only 10% more than before so uh, to find the new monthly expenditure use the formula new number is equal to 100 plus k divided by 100 multiplied by a here k is 10 a is the uh, original um, monthly expenditure of the family which is 3000 so the new monthly expenditure of the family is 100 plus 10 which is 110 110 divided by 100 multiplied by 3000 this is the second equation from first and second equation we get p multiplied by 132 is equal to 110 divided by 100 multiplied by 3000 here you can cancel out two zeros 30 multiplied by 110 is 3300 so p multiplied by 132 is equal to 3300 so p is equal to 25 kgs so the new monthly consumption of the family is 25 kgs if the price of diesel increases by 25 percent and kiran intends to spend only an additional 15 percent on diesel by how much percent will he reduce the quantity of diesel purchased so here we are asked to find out by how much percent uh, he'll reduce the quantity of diesel purchased so first we have to find uh, the quantity of diesel he he can purchase after the increase in price of the diesel now we do not know the price of diesel initially so let the price of one liter of diesel be x rupees and let kiran buy y liters of diesel initially at the rate of x rupees per liter so his expenditure on diesel would have been uh, rupees x y now kiran intends to increase the amount he spends on diesel by 15 percent so to find the new expenditure use the formula new number is equal to 100 plus k divided by 100 multiplied by a here k is 15 and a is the original expenditure that is x y so his new expenditure will be 100 plus 15 divided by 100 multiplied by x y which is 115 divided by 100 multiplied by x y which is 1.15 x y this is the first equation now when the price of diesel increases by 25 percent the new price per liter of diesel is 100 plus 25 divided by 100 multiplied by x which is 125 divided by 100 multiplied by x that is 1.25 x so the new price of the diesel is 1.25 x per liter now let the new quantity of diesel that he can get at the new price be q so at the increased price he spends 1.25 x multiplied by q this is his this is his new expenditure on diesel this is the second equation so from equations 1 and 2 we get 1.25 x multiplied by q is equal to 1.15 xy now we are asked to find the quantity of diesel purchase so q is equal to 1.15 xy divided by 1.25 x which is nothing but 0.92 y so the new quantity that he can buy is 0.92 y originally he could buy y liters of diesel now at the increased price he is buying only 0.92 y liters of diesel so he is buying 0.08 y liters lesser than what he used to buy earlier 0.08 is nothing but 8% so uh, 
the percent reduction in the quantity of diesel he buys is 8%. Address on sale in a shop is marked at rupees D. During the discount sale, its price is reduced by 15%. Staff are allowed a further 10% reduction on the discounted price. If a staff member buys the dress, what will she have to pay in terms of D? So we have to uh, find the price at which the staff member buys the dress. To solve this problem, use the formula. If A is decreased by K percent, then the new number is 100 minus k divided by 100 multiplied by a. So if the price is reduced by 15 percent, it means that k is 15 and a is the original price which is d. So if the price is reduced by 15 percent, then the new price will be 100 minus 15 divided by 100 multiplied by d which is 0.85 d. Now the new price is further reduced by 10%. So K will be 10 and A will be 0.85 D. So if this new price is further reduced by 10%, the final discounted price will be 100 minus 10 divided by 100 multiplied by 0.85 D, which is 0.765 D. So the staff member buys the dress at the at the price 0.765 d viewers please go through this video till you have understood the concept solve more percentage problems based on price of goods to understand the concept clearly watch our video on solved problems on percentages based on election and votes. This is a very important topic on which questions are asked in many competitive exams. So please do watch that video. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.